uh, uh, so we, we can speak for another half hour, and if people want to stay on, we can, we can either continue or uh, we can just break up and, and talk uh, informally. Um, so why don't we go ahead and open it up. If, does anyone have any questions in the, in the back? Um, I want to start by saying I first got involved with cancer stuff because I was married to a woman who grew up in a town called Sprague, Washington, which is uh, downwind from Hanford between Ridsville and Spokane. And her mother and her mother's sisters had a little sort of family cancer cluster. Uh, fortunately, none of them were you know, killed by it. Uh, and uh, and um, they were wheat farmers. And one of the things that happened since the 1950s, it, Lincoln County in eastern Washington is the second biggest wheat growing county in the country, with one in Kansas is bigger. And the Columbia River system is a major grain exporting route. And one of the things that happened since the 50s is they took out all the railroads that they used to ship the grains out, and all goes down the river and barges now. So I think one of the things we ways we need to look at CTS is this is uh, catastrophic grain shutdown potential. It's an economic piece. And we need to connect the wheat farmers in eastern Washington to the longshore workers who work in Port Portland in terms of the communities to reach out to. So I just wanted to raise that as a kind of possibility. I have a question maybe to start with the uh, state representative from Washington, but anybody who has any insight on this, I think it's uh, appalling that we don't have in Oregon any kind of control over this since we are down river from it, since we are going to be, you know, if it's the, it's the big fault that's going to knock <coughs> our hospitals off the, the hill in Portland and knock our bridges down, and we're going to have nuclear waste coming down the river, you know, we ought to have a say in that. And I'm, so I'm wondering, is there a way that we in Oregon can advocate to gain more of a say. Say it's, it shouldn't just be up to Washington. It should, you know, the Oregon should have a voice in this too. Um, or is that just really not, you know, fanciful? Yes, the Washington State rep. <laughs> I think that's interesting. <laughs> um, luckily, I've, our American Northwest has worked, uh, if we have large Oregon membership, we've worked with the state of Oregon um, and in particular Ron Wyden um, for the first 20 years of the Hanford Cleanup Agreement to get Oregon a seat at the table. And with congressional pressure uh, and kind of the dynamic of, well, Washington wants to be a good neighbor, they gave the state of Oregon a seat behind the table, so to speak, uh, where they get to attend negotiation meetings and um, informally comment, but no legal authority. And what the state of Oregon would like is it not to be a tri-party agreement, but a four-party agreement with the state of Oregon as a formal party. And I firmly believe that that is what should happen and if Washington was smart politically, it would like that to happen so that you have more pressure to get the right thing done. That doesn't mean Washington will do it. Yeah, I just want to... Also, Oregon, the Department of Energy... The Oregon Department of Energy. The Oregon Department of Energy. I find that they have some of them, like, they push buttons harder and ask some of the hardest questions and their staff is great. And they have the Oregon Hanford Cleanup Board, which is a, a citizen group in Oregon. They have open meetings about every three months. You could go and I learn more at those meetings than I think I learn anywhere else about Hanford because they, the Department of Energy will come and give their pretty presentation and then they'll get asked some tough questions and um, the staff at ODOE doesn't let them get away with fluff. Um, the next meeting's in Hood River at the end of this month. Okay. And then... Um, On the 24th. Yeah. Can they come? Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to add also that uh, having Senator Wyden as our senator right now, he is the chair of the uh, Energy and Natural Resources Committee, um, and uh, does have a say in... Uh, in can, can hold hearings and, and can weigh in on how Hanford 
of cleanup is taking place or not taking place, as the case may be, and also uh, is uh, co-sponsoring draft legislation right now for dealing with the high-level spent fuel waste from nuclear power plants, including that at the Columbia Generating Station, and uh, also the high-level waste that, that's on the Hanford site. So one thing I actually, I'm not sure, did, is there a sign-up sheet? Did people uh, have a chance to, mm -hmm. I think if people are interested in, in getting active, we should circulate a sign-up sheet so that people have an opportunity to do that, maybe pass it around. Um, there's one outside as well. And if you haven't had a chance to sign in, please do it. But we, we're going to need to, to talk to our Senator Wyden. He, I think he's sympathetic, but he needs to hear from us, and we need to be clear with him that what we want the Hanford site cleaned up adequately, um, and that he's going to need to, if necessary, take on Washington U.S. Senators um, who may, may disagree with uh, changing the culture that, that exists there of uh, suppressing information and not adequately cleaning things up.